Hello everyone, my name is Tia and I'm a student at Wright State University. I'll be taking a manufacturing facility tour with you. I'm excited to learn about the different types of careers available in the manufacturing industry. There are tons of great career options right here in the Dayton region. Today we're touring Lieber Industries in Dayton, Ohio. Ryan Mitchell is here to tell us a little about the company. My name is Ryan Mitchell. I'm the v Vice President of Operations for Libra Dayton uh, Precision Machine Components. What kind of company is Libra Industries? Libra Industries is a systems integration company that has wire harness components, machine components, uh, full assembly capabilities, circuit boards, uh, full, we are a, a vertically integrated company, do lots of different items, different things. And can you explain what you do here? The Vice President of Operations, we basically take care of the, the entire company, so that's uh, maintenance, safety, um, machine shop managers, uh, the engineering department, uh, basically the, 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 whole, the whole company. What is it about manufacturing that you love so much? Whether it's helping people in surgery or, you know, making these robots that we build today to, to keep people out of harm's way, uh, things like that, you know, it's, it's a very, very rewarding, very rewarding job. I want to hear more about these robots. Can you tell us about them? They can be used to go into environments where you don't want a human. Um, they can be, have sensors added to them, um, whether it's in a nuclear or a, a chemical uh, area where anywhere you, where you do not want humans to be and it just it keeps people out of harm's way. Would you recommend manufacturing as a career? Oh absolutely I would I would 100% uh, recommend manufacturing as a career. There are so many aspects whether it's through HR, management, um, machining, uh, training, uh, product development, engineering, um, there are so many avenues that you can go through uh, to have a rewarding career in manufacturing. Thanks, Ryan. Now, let's meet some of Libra's employees. Up first is Molly. Molly, what do you do here? My name is Molly Gerard, and I'm a machinist. I worked here about three years. How did you end up working here? Yeah, I went to a four-year trade high school in Connecticut. Well, I started here as an apprentice, so I went to every department and learned every machine and how it works. And now I'm in wire EDM training. Can you explain what wire EDM means? So wire EDM, it, instead of using a tool to cut metal, it uses electricity through a wire to cut really fine and precise parts. Uh, we do a lot of like stuff for electronics and microchips, so anything really precise and small. That sounds pretty cool. And what's your favorite part of your job? Uh, my favorite part of the job is seeing stuff go from raw material to finish. It's always cool to see the whole process. Thanks, Molly. Next, we're chatting with Nellie. Nellie, can you tell us about yourself? My name is Nellie White. My job title is HR Assistant. I've been working for Libra for about eight months. What does an HR Assistant do? HR assistant basically assists the HR manager. What does a day of work look like for you? Um, if they have any questions about their benefits, um, also uh, help out with payroll, um, uh, monitoring uh, employees' times, uh, any paperwork that needs to be done, um, that's part of HR, um, making phone calls, uh, planning and coordinating events. How did you end up working in HR? I started off as an um, administrative assistant when I first got here and um, I started helping out the HR manager with some of her duties and I liked it so um, I talked to her about going into the HR field. Libra Industries basically provided all the training for me to um, become an HR assistant. What advice would you give to someone who wants to pursue a career in HR? I would say that if you're going to go into HR, you should ask yourself a couple of questions, like if you are a people person, um, because um, being a people person is really big. Um, you, you have to deal with a lot of different personalities, different type of people from different backgrounds, and you will have to know 
what to say and when to say it and how to say it. Thanks, Nellie. It's really interesting to see the different types of careers available in manufacturing. Up next, we have Sam, who has another back office position. Sam, what do you do here? Uh, my name's Sam Nimer. I'm a supply chain specialist here at Libra Industries. What does a supply chain specialist do? Usually the day the day to day task of a supply chain specialist is pretty much a buyer. So what you do is you order the material that the our production floor needs in order to assemble and make the end product for our end customer. What brought you to Libra? I had been at another manufacturing company for about six years and um, it had gotten to the point where there was really no room for growth or upward mobility. So that's when I decided to venture out and started here and really liked it because there is room for growth and upward mobility here. So, What kind of training or education would you need for this position? I graduated from the University of Cincinnati, um, but I actually graduated with a psych degree. Uh, I was going to go and be a uh, high school guidance counselor and started this role um, when I graduated. This opportunity came, became available in manufacturing and I really enjoyed it. So I ended up sticking with manufacturing and not going to pursue my, my career in counseling. What made you change your mind about your career? Definitely the, the fast-paced environment. Um, I Growing up, I actually grew up in a family-owned and operated manufacturing company. So when I was in college, I, when I went to school for psychology, I thought that that's what, what I wanted to do. And then I um, worked out on the production floor through high school. And then when I actually graduated and, and went into the office and, and started doing more of the office work, I realized I really did like the manufacturing aspect. It just wasn't exactly hands-on on the production floor, so, yeah. That's great. I know I typically think of machining when I think of manufacturing, so it's cool to know there are other options for jobs. What kind of skills or qualities would a person need to do this job? If you want to go into supply chain, you definitely need to be organized and very hardworking and determined. Um, like I said, it's, it's fast-paced and um, it can be a lot of work at times, but it's definitely worth it. Thanks, Sam. Next, we're talking with Sean. Sean, what do you do here? I'm Sean Janowicki, and I'm a Herco and Haas Vertical uh, CNC team lead. And how long have you worked here? I've been working for Libra for about six years or so. And what do you do in a normal day? Yeah, currently my role as a team lead, I, I run CNC machines as well, but my goal is to make sure that all the people that are working for me, they have everything that they need to do their job successfully. What is a CNC machine? Yes, a CNC machine, CNC stands for com Computer Numeric Controlled, and basically it's a computer operated machine that's super precise, that cuts various materials. What kind of product would you make with a CNC machine? For example, we make big wheels for robots um, that are in the military. How did you end up working in manufacturing? So originally I was gonna be an electrician in high school. My uncle's in manufacturing. He kind of showed me what it was all about. Um, so I went to NVCTC here locally, got some training for the machining field, which is part of manufacturing. Uh, went through that, started here at Libra. Um, Libra Industries sent me to a company called Crescom Leadership Skills, and I did that for about a year, and then I got into a leadership position, and right now I, I, I lead about 15 or so people. Would you recommend manufacturing as a career? Absolutely. This is an awesome career to be in. I've loved it for the whole six years I've been here. Uh, this is a great company to work for and manufacturing is absolutely fun. If you want to make a career, make good money, have nice things and, and kind of work in a laid back environment and have fun, this is definitely the way to be. Thanks, Sean. Before we head out, we're going to talk with Alex. Alex, what do you do here? I'm Alex Hutt. I'm a toolmaker and team lead here at Libra Industries. I've been here 13 years. What does a toolmaker do? What I specialize in is I build special equipment and uh, unmanned robotic systems for the military. What does a normal day of work look like for you? So my day-to-day -day tasks usually are overseeing the people working under me to ensure that we're building all steps of our uh, robotic systems to uh, the quality that they're demanding and that we're getting them out in a timely manner. What kind of training or education would you need for this job? My apprenticeship was actually through uh, Libra 
and I, it was a four-year apprenticeship where I was getting on the job uh, experience and going to Sinclair to get uh, classes there and then the two-year associates was through Sinclair as well. And what did you do before you started working at Libra? I was in uh, retail actually and uh, I was in uh, Sinclair's uh, automotive program and there was a machining class and uh, I had the knack for it and uh, eventually uh, came to the apprenticeship program here and the rest is history. What made you switch from automotive to manufacturing? My reason for changing from automotive to this trade was I think the job outlook looked a lot better compared to the automotive industry. Would you recommend manufacturing as a career? Oh yes, definitely. Yeah, it's been very rewarding. Uh, I like what I do each day and uh, it's, I've learned a lot of skills that will help me outside of work even too. So. Thank you so much to Libra Industries for letting us visit. Many thanks also to the Dayton Region Manufacturers Association for coordinating this tour and to Nordstrom Films for putting this video together. This video was made possible in part by Fast Lane and Ohio MEP. If you want to learn more about careers in manufacturing, visit www.yourfuturecareer.org or www.makingohio.com.